Hey guys, on our last video on this little engine, um, I was editing it, and I was thinking about it while I was editing it, and we can't get the big end of our connecting rod off back here, but we can pull our crank, and that'll get that out of our way, and I was thinking that it's possible that this is threaded on this end, and they used this as a nut like they did here, so let me get these here pulled off the back. We'll get our crank out of here, set it off to the side, and no, I'm not going to split the crank, uh, but we will take a look at it, see how they build it. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, close my mouth and grab a wrench. We'll start taking this part back here in the back and get this crank out of here. Okay, a little bit of a an odd angle for you to see. Right, we'll get this flipped up out of our way again. Pull our crank up loose from here and you can see it's got nice brass or bronze bushings in here for our mains so let's get this there we're out of there and uh, I can't see where this is pinned anywhere to hold our main journal or our I'm sorry our big end journal and this isn't split anywhere so yeah, kind of odd how it's built together, but it worked. So let's uh, set him off to the side. We'll get our engine back here into frame. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is pull this off. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. But uh, yeah, right there, we're held in with uh, Phillips screws. We'll pull that off. Then we're going to see if these here want to unthread. And uh, hopefully, we'll have our cylinder and valve chest off of there. So. so, we can do this while we're working on it. And uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if you guys are enjoying the long format videos or short format videos. But I guess we'll just keep, keep moving on this. And, uh, what I need to do is well, a lot of things, but probably ought to look into putting these engines together in a playlist form. So that way you guys, <clears throat> if you happen to catch this one as your first video, well, you'll be able to go back and you don't have to search through them and see, you know, this playlist from when we opened it to, well, the last video and, you know, catch up with it on this video and, Hopefully, maybe one more after this, but hopefully on this one here, we get this apart. We get our cylinder and steam chest off of here, and uh, we might even do the machine work on here and go from there. So, it appears that this is uh, has a captured nut, so we're going to be digging in deeper and taking it off of our base. So, all right, well, I'll get it off the base, and we'll see what's underneath of that. Okay, we've got our four brass mounting screws. These little fellers right here. Those are out. Let's pick this up off of our base. It was... Alright, well, that's what we've got. And it looks like, uh, well, let me show you guys the bottom here. There were nuts on the bottom of there. It fell off, but it just didn't come out of the hole. So, I guess better safe than sorry, right? It was probably put together with a paint. Yeah, that paint was just holding it down. So, it was all painted as one unit. All right, let's turn this so we have clearance and let's see. Yeah, that's how they had that attached. They use these as uh, they're threaded into, well, up here on our cylinder. There you go. Mystery solved. Well, part of the mystery solved. We still, <laughs> we are kind of still curious about what else is going on with this. So, and we're going to have to take this off of there before we can get our cylinder off all the way anyhow. But I'd still like to know why it's so stiff to want to move. So, we'll check that out. Let's get this apart first. No, 
let's just thread it on the end of there kind of the way we expected there you go all right we're gonna get lucky on it this time take our head back off oh yay look at that we have more silicone goo and uh you guys can't even see it we have a piston ring here made of uh, an o-ring that was obviously the wrong size because it's split and just shoved in there so that would explain why it was so stiff let's get this out hopefully not tear up our packing if we do we can always repack it what do they use for packing it looks like they used graphited yarn you guys can't see it because my fingers are in your way is it graphited yarn or just uh appears to be all right well, let's get this rod out of there i don't feel any wear it's dirty as can be but it's a good thing you know we oiled it up so all right well we got quite a few parts i'm guessing that this here was all painted as an assembly too so the paint's what's sticking it let's get a look inside of our cylinder here and look on this end look it's got a brass liner in this end of it too just kidding guys it's all the way through there so all right well i guess we're kind of done with our base for the time being set him over here out of the road we'll get started in on the original intention on how we were going to fix this so all right let me get you guys set up somewhere else and uh, i'll get things set up we'll go from there well here we go guys this is our little mill so we've got our uh, crosshead slide mounted in here on parallels and we're going to open this hole up what we're doing right now it's pretty much just a fancy drill press but we'll get this hole opened up we are centered <clears throat> Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to change this out. We're going to put a chucking reamer in there. We're going to open this hole up. Okay, so we have our collet in here now with a six millimeter ream. Put a little bit of oil on here. And we're going to go real slow. Try to open this hole up and make it a true six millimeter opening. Taking our time on this. So there we go. We're clean through it. We know we have a straight, true hole. So let me get this back out. Get you guys set back up on the bench and keep going. All right, guys, we're back here at the bench. Here's our block. Let me get this all degreased and get all that crud off of there, all of our shavings and so on. And uh, you guys will get to see when the first part of our video when I said, well, you know, we're gonna get, do an unorthodox repair where, you know, you guys will. You know see what i'm talking about here in a second i don't think i've seen any engines built like this but i also said if it works is it wrong eh, i kind of had to eat my words on that one because yeah 
silicone. It works, but it's not right. So, all right, there we go. We're cleaned out, and that imperfections you see on there, that's a porosity from where that was obviously made. So, all right. But why did we take that little hole and put a big hole in it? Well, right here. See that little bearing? Yeah. We're going to put ball bearings in here. And before you guys say it, well, that's not what, you know, radial bearings are intended for. Normally, I'd say you're right. But on this one, you're wrong. Because that's exactly why I bought this size bearing. So that's what I intended these to go in. All right. Let me, uh, we'll see how well these line up and fit. There. Real nice. So we're going to stack two of them in there. That's going to fill up our width. There. Now we have a true hole. It's not going to waller out. We're going to be good to go, guys. I'll put a little bit, a drop of green Loctite to retain them, but it's a nice fit. I mean, they just, they drop right, well, it's a reamed fit. You saw me do it right over there on the, on the mill. So, all right. Well, I will get a little bit of green Loctite put on there, hold them in, and, uh, well, I guess we're ready to look into putting this thing back together. We'll probably get to it yet tonight, but if not, well, this might be, uh, a two-part video for me, but you guys get to see it here, uh, you know, right away. So, Well, guys, it's been two days since we were on the shop, and, uh, well, we finished our crosshead slide. You guys are on the opposite end of the bench with oh, the little vise here. I'm going to take these flywheels off, and I looked here, and underneath, there's no set screws. And, well, you guys can't see it, but the one underneath, I got it loose. I figured I'd share this with you on how these flywheels were affixed. I thought they may be threaded, but they're not. So let me show you. Sorry about the noise. We'll get it off of here. See how it's coming up? Let me pull this bottom one off. You guys can see how they were attached. There's no set screw provisions. They're not, you know, taper pinned on. <sighs> Once again, the wrong use of an adhesive. Much like our cylinder head cover. Yeah. These were put on with Loctite. So, we'll get those off. Alright, we'll bring you back over and I'll show you guys what I did last night. Alright, well you guys are centered back in the bench. And yes, we did get both of the flywheels off. And, uh, well, you can see... There's just, well, residue from, there, maybe now you can see. It's just a residue of schmoo that was on there. And, uh, yeah. Look down inside. There are no provisions whatsoever for a set screw. So, we get one step forward and we find that we have another project. But that'd be all right. We're going to make this a good engine properly, you know, much, much better. But uh, you might ask, why is there a three-quarter inch ream set back here? You guys see all that material on there? Yeah. Where in the hell did that come from? Let me show you. It's 
So do you guys remember when we looked at this cylinder? And uh, well, it kind of surprised me that it had a, a brass liner in it. Yeah. The brass liner is still in there. But at least now, it's true. It's three quarters of an inch. And before, we had this piston with a cut o-ring with a humongous deep groove cut into it well, good luck finding an o-ring to fit it and this is steel here's my pocket screwdriver there you go that's steel against a brass liner which one do you think is going to win and which one's going to be easier to replace yeah so that needed to go i didn't record it but i did make a new piston and we fitted a silicone grade o-ring so now we have a bronze piston riding in a brass cylinder with a silicone rubber o-ring so there we go hey we're making progress guys and you probably wonder why in the hell did you pull the flywheels off well i can show you if we're going through and truing all this up there is a little bit of slop not a lot i mean nothing at all to be alarmed or worried about on our main bearings here but hey we're going into it and uh well we're gonna put ball bearings on that too so we'll have a ball bearing crank we're gonna have a ball bearing cross head and uh i'm not sure if i'm going to dig into right here on our big end or not yet it's a very nice fit. I mean, I, I could tear into it if we wanted to, but I really don't see any reason to. And uh, I guess we'll check that out and go from there. But that's why I tore our flywheels off. And yes, we are going to be drilling and putting a grub screw or a, uh, an, a set screw in here to hold it to our crankshaft so yeah this simple repair turned into a lot more than we expected but we're getting there uh the paintwork is good oh, i mean at least the finish is good but this just uh, yeah i don't so pick a color fellas you get to pick it i'll get to do it and, uh, well, it was uh, a long, drawn-out video for me so far. Hopefully it isn't running long for you guys and you enjoyed it and are watching it all. And uh, let me know what color should we strip this thing down and get ready to paint it. Because we're going to have a couple more. I'm going to have a couple more nights out here in the shop. And uh, we'll get it back together. We'll make it run. And uh, hopefully it'll be a good engine. And if one of you guys want it, let me know. We're going to run it and check it all out. Well, you guys have seen what we've done so far, so let me know. All right. Hey, guys, thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys are fantastic. Um, we're out here in the shop and just having fun, and hopefully you guys are you know, having fun watching them. So, all right. Well, we'll... Get back after it. I'll see you guys in a couple days. All right. Once again, thanks, guys. See you soon.